I, before running off, I just wanted to appreciate the government for what the government is doing. Um, you will see that these uh, commissioners have been very busy. They've been going around our schools. And for them to take time, just few of their time, I never thought they would be able to make it. They are my good friends. They are good people. And I know them, they want to come. But the pressure of the job, I never thought they would be able to make it here. I'm happy that they are here today. And everything they are doing is for us to have qualitative education in the world. And I want to say to the two of you, thank you very much. And thank you very much. And thank you very much. And God bless you. Thank you. Thank you so much. I would like uh, the Commissioner of Information to today. President of Chief I don't know. We will ask you to just say one or two things before we do the commissioning of the board. Okay, permit me to stand on the existing protocol uh, because we are slightly in a hurry and I don't want to delay. But please let me see all these people because. What is happening here today is very, very important, and I like to emphasize that. I am coming from, I think, Upper Kibi High School. I'm sure in the next 30 minutes, the other members of the team and the leader of the team to inspect or verify teachers at St. Patrick's Gamma School. And we've been doing that since Tuesday. All of us going around to check the status of education. It's not about sacking people. But when you go to a lot of schools, it's not about manpower alone. You know. There are many structural defects, which is one of the things that this set of Sebaki Kabatu is trying to correct. So I hope please just give them a good speech. I went to Lagi Lugama School and I know that in the days of we used to beat them pretty zero. I mean, they won't clap for that one. <laughs> but on the most serious note, and this is where the point I'd like to make today. There are a lot of teachers here, I believe. And what this set is doing here today is what government extended its hand of fellowship to the primary sector to do. I am coming from a school, I think it's community grammar school, Mokola, where there is heavy primary sector presence. The laboratory there, according to the teacher, even though I say it's the best I've seen in Oyo school, she says it's the only one, was donated by Chevron. Multi-Choice has a resource learning center there. That is private participation in schools. Because the key issue here is that our educational standard is bad, very low. I don't even like to mention the position where we are in my head. Government does not have the money to turn it around. Certainly not. Government that has not paid teacher salary cannot infrastructure in that regard. So what is the next option? The next option is for government to seek support. And support can come in various ways. Individuals. I went to St. Gabriel this morning. One Mr. Ladero built a laboratory, provided for home. That is private sector participation. All students, they contribute just like what you're doing. International funding organizations like the Japanese International uh, Cooperative Agency contributed about 1.7 billion worth of classrooms in New York State in 17 local governments. That is primary sector participation. Zenic Bank, I think it's a uh, I can't remember the name of the school, I just know they got their school, one school, two school, three. Maybe it's of Akibi, not of Akibi, they built classrooms for them, they just put their logo in it. That is what government, because the place where we are right now, 
There is no way education in Nyota can turn around without private sector participation. And that is the reason why government has deemed it fit, even at the highest level. The leader of my team, and I hope he comes here today, is the government. St. Patrick's Grammar is one of the schools we're supposed to come and see ahead. What are they doing here? Do they have classroom here? Because ultimately, what we want to do is to elevate the standard of education in New York State. Because all of us pass through this place. And we are better off today because of what we got from this environment. So I just thought it's important for me to make that point. Because more and more government will continue to seek the support. 1983 said, you have just started, but this is not where we are going. You will still come and do computer center. You will still come and do all kinds of things here. Because we all need it. In those days when we were in school, we knew what our library was like. Now if you go to a library in school, you can't even, you can't learn anything there. Let's be frank. And that's why at the end of the day, we were going to be 27 in Wai, 29, sometimes 24. And your state is three center states. This is where you have the best university. How can we be 27, 28? So I'm enjoying you and admonishing you. This is time for all of us to come together, support the development and the elevation of standards of education in your state. Thank you very much. If you look at the newly painted the newly painted fence outside, part of the laboratory room thing, and then this was done. We are going to do more, we can promise you. Oh, yes. We are going to do more. This is, this is, we have a lot of things planned for you people. So we know that as much as possible, we are going to try and make the uh, learning environment more useful for you all. Without wasting too much time, Okay, the principal wants to fix. We are chipping something quickly. The honorary information of my sister, sir. The honorary information of our information. Permanent secretary, we are represented by reference. And take the Permanent Secretary, thanks to the Community Service Commission of Boyer State. My number five principles teaching staff and not teaching staff. My IMA recognized post death association of 1983 sets, 1988 sets, 1995. And uh, the upcoming 2005 sets. I want to thank the 1983 sets for bringing us here today to grace this occasion. And I'm highly delighted. I'm the happiest person to see this occasion coming up today, probably first or second of its kind. I know that the time is not there for the commissioners to be here, but due to the influences of our own students, they were able to make it. And they came here not like a two months ago. I don't know that this will happen. They saw the fence broken, and they had to start the work before seeing me, that they cannot be looking at their school to choose a fence to, to be like that. And they started work on it. There they came in to go around the classrooms and observe that uh, there is no job board. And the promise of bringing in 20 types of, 20 types of this uh, job board. Now today, they brought 40 pieces. We have to hear me. Yeah, we have 38 there. No. It's at the country. We are going 42. Uh-huh. So now we have 40 now. Yes. <laughs> so I really thank you. If it is only one, yes. you have started from somewhere. This one way, even encourage every other people to do the same. So I really appreciate you for doing that. Then the, I think uh, my honorary commissioners here, by God's grace, we will soon be here again.
to launch something of this type again. The most type of 1988 years, they are always they are on the ground with something which is uh, infrastructure, which we come and uh, launch very soon. So, but when the end of this 1983, I'm highly surprised to see them today. I they came to me on Monday that they are coming here, they perform the Commission of Education, Commission for the Foreign Secretary, and I, I was talking to them, how, how, why is it so soon? How do you come about the money to spend such a money, money on the school? For the time you God will bless you abundantly. You will never be forgotten by God. So I thank you for reminding your school that this is your alma mater. So I understand everybody present here, the present guests, the LIE, which is always with us, in us, we talk all the time. So uh, I thank everybody for coming here. The once again, commissioners, I say thank you. My president, Nigel Tiduli says, you are fantastic. I really appreciate you. God will bless you. I know your bodies. Uh, Mr. Alex, Honorable Alex, thank you for coming. I don't know that you are not student of this one. As you can have this in mind, I'm coming to collect books from you. I'm coming to collect books. I was born to show you, and I'm coming to collect books from you. And I'm personally, God bless you. So thanks so much, and I welcome everybody. God bless you. In the spirit of uh, comradeship, I would like to call uh, one of our juniors was Tapu. Yes, it's my boy. Yeah. 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 And we go students. Yes. So I think you just say one or two things because we are happy that you're here today. And then we know that we always have like this because the manager of IB, IB, regional manager, it's not a small boy at all. He can't go by past my own self. So say something. Thank you. But that really, when I was in school, if a senior is standing next to me, he's either I'm carrying the bag, yeah. his bag, or I'm carrying his cutlass to ensure that I cut class. <laughs> But thank God we've all progressed to this level. I'm very delighted and honored to stand here to discuss before our honorable commissioners, my seniors, my advance in school, students of St. Patrick's, the principal who has been very supportive. I really appreciate the fact that today, being present, I'm seeing the 83 set supporting the school. Initially, when 1988 set came up together to say we want to do something for the school, we tried to have go through a larger forum. But we discovered that we all have our different priorities. And for each set, we all have different ideas. And when you have collective ideas that are unique in their own way, sometimes they come up together and form something unique and different. And that is why the fact that 1988 set has done so much, and I know based on our discussion, they are going to do a lot more. 1988 set is also going to support in ensuring that the school is brought back to limelight. Well, we. Where we are looking is goes beyond even the, the resources within our own capacity. Like one of the things that the 83 set is doing is beyond doing this presentation, it's also a way of campaigning. This is a media campaign for all our other members or other patricians to support this common goal of ensuring that Spaco is number one in everything. Number one in infrastructure, number one in education, number one in everything that is related to education in Nigeria. When all students come together and they discuss, and you know, you see, I see some of my fellow mates in other schools, they're very proud to talk about their schools. 
I was an out of the battle for a long time and I came back. And when we were talking about development, it's always we use WhatsApp, we use Facebook, we see pictures and we say, oh, things are not so rosy. But the day I visited the school, I was in tears. And I couldn't help myself. I used to be a backbencher in the WhatsApp group. But when I visited, I said, no, I'm going to take charge. Even if I'm not the chairman of the trustee. But as an errand boy, servitude is also leadership. And I can assure you that we will collectively come together, be it our senior or junior, we see ourselves as one patrician set. And the set is for progress. And that progress is to make St. Patrick's Grammar School the number one school in the world of Nigeria. I can assure you that from the bottom of my heart, this is one school that has taught me a lot. It has taught me education, it has taught me street sense, it has taught me things that even my children today I wish for, and they will never achieve in certain things what I have learned in this school. I have learned to be who I am today. I have advanced in other education in my life, but the basic foundation that I got is from this school. Do not take for granted that you are in a secondary school. Take it for granted that the education or the basic sometimes does not only involve the resources that you have in the school, but take it that you yourself should be self-motivated, self-enhanced, learn to educate yourself beyond what the school is also giving. But also have it at the back of your mind that the basic moral values that the school will give you, you should live with it for the rest of your life. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. One thing that, there was one very unique thing about St. Patrick's in those days, I don't know if it still happened. We had a funny way of giving each other nicknames. And I'm uh, sorry, I should have called, uh, there's a teacher in this school today, uh, Mr. Abayo Kadekodu. He too went to this great school. He's probably known as Bob Warrior. You see, not one interesting thing in this school, though, especially he said, if I tell you some nicknames, if these are our set, the three set, we will not be here today. So,